Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at Plotly, which is a hacks front-end card that was developed by Debuzaz. The Plotly card is based on an open source Python library, which is utilized on many different platforms. As such, it continues to be developed and evolve in its functionality. Now there are many different graph cards in Home Assistant, such as the Mini Graph or the Apex Charts, both of which are excellent and offer many features specific to them. But Plotly is super simple to implement in minutes and provides some amazing graphs. So let's fire up the data warehouse and get graphing. Plotly is Hacks front end, and as such, you'll need Hacks installed on your Home Assistant to be able to use the Plotly card. Now, Hacks cannot be installed on all environments. You'll need HAOS or Supervide installed to be able to install the Plotly card. To check what type of installation you have, navigate to Settings, scroll down to About, and if you see Core and Supervised and do not have Hacks installed, then follow the link in the pop-up above and install Hacks, and once finished, come back to this video. Navigate to Hacks in the left-hand menu. Search for and select Plotly. Now press Download in the bottom right-hand corner, and confirm with Download. Once downloaded, press the Reload button, and you're done. The Plotly card is now available. Now let's add a Plotly card to a dashboard. I'll be using a section dashboard that allows for drag and drop and supports the Plotly card. Press the plus to add the card. Search for and select the Plotly card. Give it a title, in my case, outside temperature. The hours field must be an integer, so I'll leave this as 24. Now you can set, if you wish, a scale to be logarithmic, which is a method used to display numerical data that spans a broad range of values especially when the significant difference between the magnitudes of the numbers involved. These are typically used for sound levels, so you probably won't be using this, but it's great to have the option for it. I'll put a link in the description to the definition of using a log scale. The Y axis minimum and the Y axis maximum is a nice feature that is not available for all graph cards, such as the Lovelace history card. It allows you to highlight specific data in the card for the viewing. If you'd like more details on the y-axis minimum and maximum, then check out the link in the pop-up above. Then you come to the data that you will be displaying. I'll be leaving the sun entity, as this will show when the sun is above the horizon. For my second entity, I'll be using my Whipboy Weather Station outdoor temperature. As soon as I select the entity, the preview is generated. We can now save this card, and it literally took seconds to generate. Now we have our graph. Let's understand the front end user controls, as this is one of the most powerful parts of the Plotly card. Firstly, we have the ability to click on the graph and scroll on it with the X and Y axis to different information. Very handy for viewing prior information without having to go into the configuration of the card. In the top left of the card is a get out jail free card for reset. This will take you back to the default view for the scaling. In the controls to the right, the top two offer zoom. This will zoom in or out by a factor of two. You can achieve small increments of zoom by using the control and the wheel on your mouse to zoom in or out. Under the zoom button is the auto scale. Plotly will auto scale the Y axis to view all data points. The next two controls are to switch between zoom and pan. We have already seen pan allows you to move around the graph. The zoom feature when selected is one of Plotly's key features. It allows you to select data on the X or Y axis, and when you release the mouse, it will zoom in specifically to that section of data. Likewise, we can now search against Y axis data. Always remembering that if we view on specific data, we can always press the reset button to revert back to our original default values. The final option is where you can highlight a specific window of data and view that data specifically. Now, although the initial setup of the Plotly card makes it ridiculously easy to display data within seconds, this view can be tuned to specific requirements. But for this, we're going to need YAML code. Now, as we'll be editing the card YAML, you do not need a file editor. But if you do need one, my file editor of choice is Studio Code Server. If you'd like to install this, then follow the links in the pop-up above. To demonstrate some of the YAML code based plotty features, I've created a card with wind speed and gusts based on information from my Whipboy. To enter the card YAML code, press this pencil in the middle of the card. Now press Show Code Editor. One of the more advanced features of Plotty that cannot be controlled within the UI is the ability to fill under the line. 
For this you'll need to insert an additional line underneath the actual entity. Tab across until your entry is underneath the entity and type fill. The visual editor will give you a warning to tell you that it is not supported and cannot be displayed inside of the view UI anymore. After the fill we have two different options. One is to zero Y and the next is to next Y. To zero Y will fill between the entity line and the Y axis. Now if we'd like to change the color of the fill we need to insert another line. For this we'll be using the attribute of fill color with a colon space and using the RGBA attribute. I'll put a link in the description to RGBA so that you can change the color to whatever color you'd like. You can also change the background color of your graph using the layout variable. Underneath the layout variable use two spaces followed by plot underscore BG color colon space and then a color. And one of my favorites is predetermined range selectors. These are buttons that appear at the top of the graph and when pressed adjust the time scale of the Y axis. Now in this video I've only dipped my toe into the possibilities with Plotty. The Python script that Plotty is based on is truly astounding as to what you can achieve. If you have sensor data such as a Whip Boy weather station or energy plugs, links in the description to those videos, then Plotty is the way to display that information quickly and if you want to spend the time, tune to your exact requirements. I'll put links in the description to some more popular advanced examples that you can template from if you want to build your own. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did then consider liking, subscribing and joining the ever growing community. And if I've opened your eyes to a new and exciting home assistant card then consider a super thanks or buy me a coffee, it's really appreciated. Until the next one, I hope your graphs are all going in the right direction.